Everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. and We're going to have some fun today. I am going to be doing a Timu haul. Now, my intention was to do this haul last week, but then I got notification that I was supposed to get another order, and I thought, oh, I should wait and just do one altogether so I could put it all away. And then it was a day late on top of it. It just compiled. So I apologize to my members of the Facebook group. I had every intention on doing this last week, but we have more to share now. So, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, now I'm gonna also go over how I put things away, how I store them, all that good stuff. Um, and we're just gonna have some fun. I'm gonna talk about something that I didn't think was a good deal, things that I think are a very good deal, what I'm gonna use them for. I will put the link to Ginger's Corner down below because a lot of these things I give away as prizes in the giveaways. Um, and we're gonna use, I'm gonna talk about using them for swaps. I'm also going to put a Timu link below. Um, you guys can shop through there and I get a tiny little kickback. Um, to everyone who did that last time, thank you. I ended up with a pretty good chunk so I could add to our blessings box. Um, and with that said, let's just have some fun. This is a fun shopping's always fun, right? Now these I showed in my last haul. I ordered some more because I think I want to do a team kit. I do. So these are just stickers. They're teeny boppers. You guys know I have a teenage daughter. Yeah, this is her meh attitude all the time. She's actually a very good girl. But, um, so definitely um, wanted to add those to the blessing box. Then I got, let, let's save this for last because I have got one thing on there I just don't think is a good deal and, and I'm going to talk about that here in a second. Um, then I have some more stickers. Now most of it I have unwrapped so you're not going to have to listen to this crinkle throughout the whole thing. Um, I'm thinking maybe just to put on Happy Mail for Jillian to use for my grandbaby. I mean these are a little more animated than I had anticipated. So they'd be good on cards, I do think, but they're not exactly what I wanted. Um, so while I do think some of the stickers are a very good deal, especially for my Bible journal, I have bought quite a few for there. I'm not seeing them as scrapbooking really once now that I've, they're glossy. Yeah, not working for me, but I'll definitely give them to my grand girl, to my daughter. I can put them on happy mail. You know, I'll use them. And they were less than two bucks. Like seriously, they might've even been cheaper than that because they have flash sales. So there's those. Then here are some more faith stickers. Um, you guys saw these last time. I just ordered some different ones. I'm really enjoying these for my Bible journal. Um, again, I want to thank everyone for all their encouraging words um, for that. That means the world to me. It truly does. So there's those. Let's see if I can get them back in there. I'm going to tell you, I, I'm i loving Timu. <laughs> the um, products are pretty good. I know there are some issues and some people don't want to order for them. And I totally respect that 100%. I think you have to do what's right for you. The price is right for me. And um, yeah, so some more um, Bible journaling stickers. I think I'm pretty much set for the rest of my life, but I'll give them as, oh, look at that one. Fear ends where faith begins. Amen. That's so cool. I love that one. Um, but a whole bunch of those. Oh, God is a light. No, God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Oh, that's so cool. These ones are cool. I like these ones. Oh, is this a light bulb? Be the light. Ah, oh, these are amazing. You guys are going to see these in the Forever Faith series for sure. Um, I got two of them. This one is actually for the blessings box because I am going to do a faith giveaway here and there and I can break those up down into different little kits. I have plans. You guys know me. I've always got something going on. I ordered some more doilies. These are a little bit different. These would be perfect for the doily swap we just did, right? But I like these off of Timu. Now, I believe they were $2.50. And there's a variation of just put in paper doilies, honestly. 
because you're not buying 50 of one. Every single one of these, you get two of each and they're a little bit different. And if you're like me, I buy and share with one of my scrappy friends and I give her one, keep one. And then I, she does the same with a different pack and, and yeah, it works out really well. Or you can use them in swaps. Um, you know, we do the doily swap once a year over there and it's a lot of fun. So there's that. Then I've got some resin bows. I am loving, I haven't even opened them. I am loving the resin because it's flat back. It's minimal. Well, these ones are a little bit bulkier, but some of them are very minimal. And how stinking cute are these? Look at these. And in all different colors. Now you can get single colors, like if you just wanted pink or blue. Oh, I like this one. Look, it has some dimension to it. They kind of highlighted it. Highlighted. <laughs> I just got done telling Junior not to use grammar like that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to blame it because I heard it this morning. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, so very cool different resin pieces. I have some owls on order. I will show you guys. I have five more Timu orders coming. You know what happens? They send me coupons and then I can't say no. And then there's a flash sale and it just, it's horrible. <laughs> It's so bad to the point my husband's like, are we shopping on Timu now or are we giving up Amazon? <laughs> okay, so then I went down the paperclip rabbit hole and look, look at these dragonflies, butterfly. These are so cute, so stinking cute. And then let's see here. I have some tulips. I'm just going to put them here instead of making you listen to the crinkle. I have some guitars. Aren't those just so awesome? They're so awesome. And let's see here. I'm going to be doing a music kit very soon. Um, just because Jilly's in band and I'm, I don't need, like, look at this package. I think it was $3. Maybe not. It might have just been a couple bucks. I don't, I've ordered so much. I don't know. But look at these. And they came in black. I want to say rose gold. Oh, come on. Smarter than the thing here, Jen. Um, <laughs> else do that with themselves. Okay, I can do this. I got this. There we go. They came in different colors, but they were music notes. So to me, they should be black. But aren't those cool? But I don't need this many. I need like six. So I will be sharing. You will see like little embellishment packs and stuff in the blessings box. That's all coming. We're getting ready to... Um, do a whole bunch of giveaways. I'm going to just do some random giveaways here next month in June and July. There's some cool arrows. Love these. These are going in my Bible journaling. Crosses. Aren't those cool? I love those. Um, I'll use all of those. Now, what you see here is an array of baggies. And let me tell you why. Now, over on Ginger's Corner on the Facebook group, we do all of our swaps. And I sometimes bagging my stuff and I'm very seriously debating about bagging it more often than not bagging it and I wanted something cute and these are stinking cheap like under a buck and look how many you get like there's a whole stack um some of them that have more of a design are a little bit more but definitely under two dollars and look, they're self-adhesive. And then I don't have to worry about the washi tape sticking to my embellishments. So I got these ones. I got, and I just typed in um, uh, baggies and these came up. I got, let's see here. I got some with floral. Look at these cute florals. Let me get a piece of paper here. I just got done cutting down a thing for mailing. Um, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. And then I just, I bought some regular ones. These are larger ones. They come in all different sizes. I just kind of want to step up my packaging game, if I'm being honest. And not only for um, swaps, but also for the blessings box. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm an organized person. It just makes me happy to see things pretty. So um, here's the heart one. Aren't those just... They had all different kinds. Look how stinking cute. And these are like, let me see what size they are. Let's see. We don't have, we have nothing to do. Nothing. Um, of course my board is turned around the wrong way. So once it's sealed, it's like three and a half by two and a quarter. Perfect for mini swaps. Perfect. 
And these ones are larger. Remember, you can take your scrap card stock and slip that inside of there so these are stiffer and they're self-adhesive and I think they will be really pretty. So I'm excited about that. Definitely, you know, and the price is right. For under a dollar, for all of the bags, I, I probably have $5 worth here. Gosh, I got things sticking everywhere. I probably have like $5 worth here and I'm gonna have bags for a long time. Now I'm gonna use more than most people. You guys could probably buy one of these and it'd be plenty um, because I'm gonna be doing it for giveaways and stuff. But I mean, come on. They're just so stinking cute. So stinking cute. So I had to, well, I didn't have to, I chose to. <laughs> I had fun. So there's all that. Are you guys liking Timu? I I like Timu. I don't know. To the point, some things are changing on the way I buy things because the quality is there. Like I can't even say, well, it's lesser quality, but it's so much cheaper. I can't say that. Nope. It is very equal. It the, yeah, it's equal quality. It'd be different. All right, let's talk about something. The thing that I found that was not a good buy. Let me put this back. So I bought that I was like 50 dies for, I don't remember. I think it was on special for $11. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. It didn't say the size. And, and I will tell you, when you shop on Timu, pay attention to the description because you may be disappointed. Most of the time it doesn't bother me because it was a buck, right? Like, but every now and then, look at these 50 dies. Really? Seriously? Now, some of them are very cute. They are like, here's an owl, here's elephant, pardon me. There's a pig. It was a lot of, a lot of farm stuff. Um, there is a paintbrush, some bunnies. There's just a bunch of different stuff, right? Here's a little whisk, even um, another bunny. There were lots of bunnies and lots of ducks in this. Um, I am going to package these up in my cute little baggies. I will be putting, and I did buy them for the intent of putting them in the blessings box for live giveaways just to have in there. We thought it would be fun to get a little pack of dies, you know, sort them and put them like dies together. But wow, $11 for these? Are you kidding me? Wait till you see the others I got for a dollar to $3. This, no, not a good deal. Was not happy with this, but you know, not gonna like everything, right? Can't please everybody kind of deal. So I would not recommend buying the 50 die set. If they were decent size, maybe. Look, there's another little pig. Another little bunny. There's even a hat, a, a hatchet in here for like outdoor. Look how cute that is. <laughs> it is kind of cute, but not $11 cute. Mm -mm. I wasn't feeling that one. So that, I was disappointed, okay? Now, let's go over. I'm gonna show you, look, you guys. Okay, no judgment, right? <laughs> This is the friend zone, right? <laughs> so these are all the dies that I bought my last two, three orders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I bought more because I've put some in the blessings box. You guys have been seeing me find these scragglers. They're ones I bought last time that I really like that I want in the blessings box. So I have a whole pile of that on the side. But yeah, mm, I, I'm going to have to get some more storage somehow. And I've been rearranging and I've got three more of these. This is how I store my dies. I have an entire, um, I think it's two or three parts of how I store my dies from this past January where I went over everything. And I've gotten a lot of questions and I've sent out that link several times. I'll put it in the description, but if you can't find it, just comment and we'll go over it. And as I show you what I got, I went ahead and took them out. I'll kind of talk about what I'm going to do. I have to take... You guys, I'm taking this new Wagovi shot and it's actually working really well. A squirrel, right? Personal, personal time, because you guys are my friends, right? So um, it makes me so thirsty. Like I cannot get enough to drink. I cannot get enough to drink. It's crazy. And I didn't want to chew bubble gum while I was filming because I know that drives some people crazy. All right, so what I have here is I have sleeves and I have magnets to go along with them. Oh, there's an extra magnet on this one. Um, this is how I store my dies. And they fit perfectly in these $1.50 crates that you can get either at the Dollar Tree or at Walmart. Perfectly. And you can get 
<laughs> you guys, I probably have. I, I, I'm guesstimating, okay? And I'm going to guesstimate on the low end. I bet I have 200 dies. Easy. Easy peasy, if not 300. <laughs> but when I store them this way, oh, and it fits the close to my heart. Um, if you buy those, it, it, it's a perfect size. Perfect size. So definitely consider that in your space. And I do this because I it has handles, number one. Number two, it's small enough that no matter how heavy it is, it doesn't hurt my hands and my wrists. I'm a reach in the older age. <clears throat> and I have problems gripping things. So um, I... This is a play off of what Miss Janet Madison and what she shared with us and how she uses um, boxes and decorates them um, over at RTS. And um, I just modified it to fit me and my needs better, which is what I hope you do. That's, I share, it does not mean you have to do it that way. Do what works best for you. Okay, so um, the, these I get on Amazon. Um, and I will put the link below. There's several different ones though. You can put five by seven magnet sheets. You can buy the eight and a half by 10 magnet sheets and cut them yourself. I will tell you it's only a few cents difference. I've priced it. Um, I do buy the larger eight and a half by 11, eight and a half by 10. I don't remember. It's been a while since I bought them. Um, sheets for my bigger stamp sets and uh, uh, for my bigger um, envelopes, because I like it to fit. It gives the stability, okay? Um, so, and then what I will usually do is I will die cut this out and then I will put it on this side. Now, they were out of the regular ones. These are sticky back. And you could take cardstock and put on here whatever you wanna do, um, whatever works best for you, okay? So that's how I store them. And then I sort them by category. Now, some of these I've already sorted. Some of them I just put on here. I will sort them later so that you guys didn't have to listen to me do this for 45 minutes. So um, I got this tea set here, the little tea bag, and then I got the kitty cat set. How cute is that? So cute. And I'm just going to go through them, okay? Now here's why I like this because, okay, I can go just like this when I'm searching for a die. So let's say I have my flower tub because I label it on the front and I wanna sit here and thumb through. I like flipping. It makes my eyes happy and it is fast and I enjoy it. So do whatever is best for you. This is how I store them, okay? I had lots of questions. So, and I will put that whole video when I was purging and sorting um, this last January. So then I got this beautiful floral flower dye. I got, and most of these were under $3, if not under $2. Um, this is a formal dress dye. And a lot of these you are going to see in the blessings box. Okay, you will see them during giveaways because they are so cheap, I can afford to do that. Um, when you guys send me a uh, little notes, say keep the extra postage. I know it's just 25 cents here and there, but that is how one, I can mail everybody the gifts, and two, I, I tried, like all of you guys that clicked the Timu link and signed up for Timu, um, I ended up with $30, and that helps me buy things for the Blessings Box to do as giveaways. You, They're from you and your fellow crafters as well. I'm just the middleman. <laughs> so this is a really pretty banner. Um, a lot of my family is of um, uh, Spanish heritage, and I love this banner. Love this banner um, for like Day of the Dead um, layouts and stuff to honor my husband's side of the family and all of his cousins and my sister-in-law and all of them. So I love that banner. Absolutely gorgeous. Not that you have to use it for that, but that's what it reminded me of. Then um, here's like a little birthday. You, this is what I mean. So I have this and this and I would die cut it out. I haven't gotten that far yet. And then I would put it on this side and this would go under birthday. That's where I would file this. That doesn't mean that's where you have to file it. But I love these candles because it has this cutout and then you can do a backer and layer them and they're going to be so unique and cool. Um, I think this was like a dollar. It was $1.15 or something like that. Um, and I'm going to say, Timu, love it. Their category, don't love it because you will put in metal cutting dies and see a whole ton of them. Go back two days later, put it in, and you will see something you never even saw. Or you will put in 
um, birthday metal cutting dies and you'll get Christmas ones. Like I, I don't understand their filing or anything. Oh, the sun just got low. Um, none of that, but this is a balloon set. Odds are I would use it underneath a birth or on a birthday layout or a birthday card. And obviously this one is celebration. And really that's what I call that category is celebration. So like anything for new year's graduation, all of that stuff would go under here for me. Okay. Just FYI. Then this is a pocket die. It does have this ribbon. I probably won't use this. I just wanted this cool pocket. You cut it out and then you fold it over and I could make my own baggie for embellishments or to give to a friend. So that was really cute. And I guarantee you, oh, and here's the little clasp that you put on there. I like that part too. So there's that. Then <laughs> little fun tidbit about Ginger. So <laughs> my mom, I grew up on a ranch, thousand head of cattle in Oklahoma. I grew up with a garden that was a mile wide and a mile long, mile by a mile. That's what I did after school. We canned, I grew up very poor. Um, we worked the land. I could throw hay bales with the best of them. Not no more. This was when I was a child. But my mom, after my father passed, my mom in Montana, we had moved to Montana by then, um, raised cashmere goats. And I'm going to tell you, this made me laugh so hard. I had to have it. I had to have this. Now, the dyes were out of stock, so I have to get the dyes still. But <laughs> I just, I have to make my mom some cards. I just do. I mean, we I have done everything you can imagine with a goat. Like, we have sheared them. I've helped vaccinate them. Hoofs. Um, you name it, we've done it. Steer with the kids when they're kidding that's what the baby goats are called and them goats this coat on top of the cake is classic goats will get on everything and they will eat anything i am telling you goats are a hot mess <laughs> they really are but i had to have that sorry little story squirrel <laughs> little tidbit about ginger all right so there is some more stars i am loving this i feel like i have Lots of fun things I can make out of this. I see 4th of July. I see birthday. I see boy. All that good stuff. I don't know why when I see stars, I think of boy layouts, but I do. Hearts for me go on girls and stars, eh, not really a reason, but it is. Now I got this stamp set. Um, I am creating a little gift pack for a very special mentor friend of mine. If you've watched me long enough, you know who that is. And so I got one for myself, one for a couple of my scrappy friends. So I bought this set like three times, but I think this kind of looks mixed media. And I love this. This is this right here is why I bought this whole set. And then here are some of the dies that I got that have to do with books. So I keep this all together and I would put this under school. So just a little FYI, I'm trying to be more detail of where I would put it. Then um, this is a smaller pocket. All of these pockets will be in my Amazon link. So when you go to the description, you'll see the Timu link and you'll see the Amazon link. That's where I get these sleeves. That's where I get these. They're in that link. If you can't find it in the description, because I watch YouTube on TV as well sometimes, just um, maybe log into your computer or your uh, phone and hit that see more and you, you'll be able to find the link for that, okay? Um, this, how mixed media is this? I love this die. I am trying... Now that I know what products I like in mixed media, with 30 days of sketches, you're gonna be seeing me do mix, more mixed media, but I'm gonna do it my way, which you should do it your way. So um, stamping, I like that more than um, paste and glazes. And not that I'm not gonna use any of that, but this is more my style. I just think this is really a cool stamp, so. A squirrel talking too much. Okay, this is just an eclectic mix. I got an igloo, lived in Montana for over 20 years. I, I have to have snow. So <laughs> this is a bridge. I love gnomes. Um, yeah, had to have the bridge. Didn't have to have it. I got another hummingbird. Then I found out this is a duplicate. So this this one will end up in the in the blessings box. In fact, I should take it out now because I know me, I'll forget and I'll end up with two of them in my thing. Okay, so then a little giraffe. Um, now keep in mind, sometimes you have to die cut it twice, right? Once in, 
yellow or orange, whatever you want, and then once in brown, and then you could take all these dots and you could put them on there. Remember that. Think outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. This one is so cool. Look at this cool bird cage. But I don't just see a bird cage. I also see a gazebo. And I know that the door is meant to come off. So I don't know. I'm going to have to play with it. I don't know. It is back. It does have a backer. I don't want to lie to you. Let me make sure I'm telling you correctly. Yes. So you would die cut this part in whatever color you wanted and then do this part and put it on top. Isn't that just cool though? I could see like a little bird inside of there. It just, oh, you could just take like a piece of brown um, paper strip and put across there like a perch or something. Uh, mm, possibilities endless, right? So there's that one. Then, all right, I'm gonna blame Shannon. And I'm gonna blame Mallory for making tickets and making me want some little critters. Cause you know. I don't have enough little critters and I have to, this is where I have to get an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Cause I need to cut a six by six magnet. I could cut it out of these, but I, I don't want to. And those are only five by seven. So, um, I decided to just buy one. I have it coming. That's why it's just in here. This is another one of the pockets for these odd size. Cause I will tell you some of their stamping, are weird sizes so again these will be in amazon and um miss captain mallory found them for me bless her heart but um so this is a little stamp set i got it comes with the dies isn't that cute and be careful when you're buying on there before you hit that um like purchase button because if you're like me you browse next day you browse some more once you have you're like oh i'm just gonna order make sure you're getting both because sometimes one of them will go out of stock and you will only get the dies or only get the um stamps but i have quite a few friends who have had amazing customer service with them they will just refund you right away so like let's say you do order it you don't notice they send you the die and not the stamp they'll let you keep the die refund you then you can just notify put notify and when you'll get the die for free eventually yeah and if they're late they give you a five dollar credit yeah it, it, it's pretty good all right so here's some more coats i just can't oh you know they just make me laugh and it does have the dies with it um another one i'm waiting for my sheets to come in from amazon then I got some music goodies to add to some of the ones I got last time. Absolutely love that. I'm on a book, I don't know, trend, and I got some little gnomes that also have dies, just like that. Okay, then this one is fun. I can't wait to play with this one. It is a dresser um, or a credenza closet, however you want to see it comes with little hangers. I mean, how cute I need to play with it. And remember you can print off, um, the picture and you could put that on here if you wanted to. Um, this is for like a street sign or a house sign, little, just something a little fun. Then I got some hedgehogs. <laughs> Who doesn't love hedgehogs? Again, I blame Shannon and Mallory. 100%. Um, I bought this twice. One is for my scrappy friend. So there's that one. Then I got this really cool die. Is this not just cool? I did think it was going to be bigger. I was a little disappointed in that, but it is still really cool. And then I got some hearts in a different manner. Then I got this tag set, nesting set. It's funny because someone had sent me some as blessing big box gifts and then I found it. So I must have liked it too. So to that someone, I have your name written on it to say thank you during the um, uh, embellishment you know, share that I do each month. That's usually when I will say thank you for all the things that you guys sent in, but that's kind of funny. So these are in the blessing boxes gifted by one of your fellow crafters. Love this tag. Just there's different. They're different, not typical. Then I got a bow set, both large and small. It has some beautiful embellishing around it. And I like that, the edging. That's why I got that. Um, some graduation stuff that would go in there with celebrate. Then I got, last time I got the birthday, so I got the happy to match. <laughs> yeah, 
good. You know, this will cut out like a cup file too. It will because it has a backing and you could leave this off, cut this part off and then back it each letter with an individual. That would be fun. That's why I like these so much. So there's that. And you can use happy on its own, right? So just like that, I'm gonna have to get another drink. Okay, so then there is um, this Valentine set. I just thought these were so cute. It does come with dyes, um, really, really cute. Then I got this tree set and I'm waiting again for um, uh, my eight and a half by 11, but look at this. I, my favorite tree is a weeping willow tree. It just is so, I don't know. I just connect with the way it blows in the wind and I just, I love weeping willow. So I had to have it. And like I said, it does have dyes. I'm just waiting for my sheet to come in. Then some more gnomes. I know you're shocked. Okay. So you got to look at this one. <laughs> Well, you don't got to. I guess you could leave. But it's an old man and an old woman. And it's a dog gnome and a cat. <laughs> How cute is that? It's so cute. And then it comes with dyes. Oh, I just can't. Um, this is one that I bought. And I'm waiting for the dyes to come back in. I did not get to get the dyes. They're still out of stock. They need to come back in, but I really like that. It gave me teeny vibes. Jillian goes and takes her driving permit test Friday. Friday, you guys, my baby girl's all grown up. Oh, I'm gonna sound it soon. Then I got this car with the tire. I got the boy to match the girl dye that I got last time. I wish they had more boy. Like you can find a lot of different girl dyes. I haven't found many boy ones. Um, then here's a cute little stamp set with two hugging little girls. I like that for my daughter and her best friend or my grandbaby. Then I got this, um, overlaying stamp set or stencil set. Pardon me. Really, really am looking forward to using that. Should be pretty cool. And then you put the birch tree over it. I did have to have this explained to me. <laughs> So this set reminded me of Ratatouille. <laughs> I had to have it. I love that Disney movie. <laughs> and my father was a chef. So I see myself using these a lot in the future. And it came with dyes. But <laughs> like, if you guys only knew my father, like I had to have it. And then this one is cheese and little mice and comes with dyes as well. I'm waiting on my magnet sheet. Ran out. Go figure. Then I got this. Um, this is actually two separate sets. This is larger. This is smaller. Love this rolling pin. Although Terry Rice, if you want to learn how to make a rolling pin, a large one, I actually won one that she made and she's one of my scrappy pals. I just love her. You should go check out that tutorial. If I, if I remember, I'll put it in the below. If not, and you want to see it message or comment and I'll show it to you. Cheese grater, colander. That's new to me. I love the measuring cup. I love the um, grinders. Those are really cool. Um, yeah, uh, this big set, I'm, I'm really liking this because I do have my recipe book that I'm still working on and plan on doing a few more in the series. Some doily dies. Okay, this disappointed me. It was, I thought it was going to be a big set. It was not. That made me sad. Then I got another envelope. I just love the different tips. I have envelope dies. I don't need the envelope dies if I'm being honest, but yeah, I love this. Then I have, I found a memory decks card. Um, the Rolodex, memory decks, memory decks, and the swap, the sign up for the memory decks is happening Wednesday, I believe. I believe it's Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, tomorrow or the next day. Um, go over to Ginger's Corner, join us. You only got to make two. It's really simple. And this time it's a food theme. So anyone want to guess what dyes I'm using? <laughs> so anyway, but this one makes a pocket. So like you run it through and you flip this up and it makes a little pocket. Yeah. Could you imagine that with all the utensils stuck inside? maybe a little preview to what's coming. So there's that. Now when they're big like this, I will use both sides. Why not? I mean, it's so big that I'm not, don't need to chase any little parts. Okay. Then here's a door. Here's a log cabin. 
Um, again, lived in Montana. This is the snow melt. It's just so cute. Like, it's so cute. And then here is an actual door. Okay. Then I have a couple. <laughs> and I am waiting. Oh, I got a mixed media set. Look at that. They have a lot of mixed media sets. I have more of those coming. Um, and then I have this set here. It is a camping set. But this is, what size is this? Hang on. Let me tell you. I don't know, seven by mm, six. And I have ordered special pockets for these. I will put them in the link below, but these three sets I don't have in pockets because, well, uh, yeah, I cannot um, put them in. I don't have them yet. So there is this one. It's a camping set. Then there is, let me see here. Is this the camping one? I think this is the camping one. That, that's probably the hardest part. Yes, because there's the fishing pole. So that goes together. And I actually bought this twice. You will be seeing this in the outdoor um, giveaway. Okay. So there's that. I, I'm working on an outdoor kit. And then I bought this summer kit and I didn't get the dies. Um, so I'm going to have to watch for the dies. Same with that. It's the same as with the, um, the little bug that I talked about with Jill and her driving. That's why I bought that. So that's everything. It's a lot, right? I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> no touching here. You guys check out Timu. I think you will like it. If it's not your jam, that's okay. Look, he's even on like a little ice chest thing or suitcase. How cute. Oh, it's traveling. I get it. I get it. It's a vacation vibe. I don't even know what I ordered. I ordered so much. Anyway, um, if you like it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. I mean, there, there's no wrong way to shop either. Do what's best for you. I hope you guys enjoy these hauls. I am going to be doing another haul. Um, right after I get done here, I am going to post on the Facebook group what to expect from me this week. And one of those hauls is we are going to go over, I got it, Spectrum Gardenia from 49 and Market. I bought the entire kit and we're gonna go over it together. So, um, we'll talk about that later this week. And with that, I hope you have a blessed day. I really, really do. Thank you again for subscribing. Thank you for all of your encouragement and for commenting. And thanks for hanging out with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.